Hello. Welcome to Hades. Um, just a quick heads up. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to say it. I've never been happy that my that my Switch dims the screen due to inactivity. That That whole feature should be stopped on all devices macbooks switches i've never been like oh good you know what i i'm not using it thanks for doing the screen it's always like i'm on the phone or i'm streaming I'm trying to play the liar <laughs> anyway i just want to give everyone a heads up uh i am obviously playing hades uh, and obviously you could probably assume given how decorated my room is um that this is pretty far into the game so huge spoilers ahead i don't really know what we'll be covering in this uh playthrough but if you ha i will say this if you haven't played hades uh, actually hold on i'll lower my mic a tiny bit that that seems good i was getting a little in the red but i was also very heated about uh dim screens okay if you haven't seen like the like credits rolling ending of Hades you haven't seen a specific painting don't watch this uh, we are very much in the post game um, I have not played this in a while I've been recently getting back into it and I actually have like a ton of game left so just wanted to give a huge heads up for spoilers now's your chance to go thank you for joining me if you if you are leaving right now for everyone else let me show you where I'm at I go through Hades phases every three months. Yeah, that's I'm like fully back. I played this game like a ton right when it came out. And just like by nature of doing the podcast, like even even when I find a game that like is the game that I play, regardless of whether or not I bring it up on the show, I kind of have to move on eventually. So I also felt like I felt good. Like I reached the end credits of Hades the first time and I was like, I feel really complete like that. That did give me, like, catharsis. Um, but I'm back. And there is so much left to do. So uh, I'll, I guess I'll just show you where I'm at. So one thing that I care a lot about is the relationships. Are the relationships. So we're, like, approaching the end for everybody here. I've, like, pretty much... I'm either, like, at the very end... Well, I mean, I obviously next out Skelly. Obviously. I I can't get over how cool Persephone's outfit is here. Like, I love her on the surface outfit, but Persephone's hell outfit is, like... I'm surprised I don't see that cosplayed more. Because it's so cool. I just love everything about it. The secret pockets, it's amazing. <laughs> Skelly is incredible. Yeah, I love Skelly. So yeah, pretty much. Oh, these these are the others of note. These are the freaks. We're we're almost done with the freaks, the Olympian gods. I'm like pretty much. I'm just sort of waiting. This is actually one like if I had to have one note for Hades as a game is I don't love the inability to like the locked hearts. I get that they kind of they kind of have to keep it out of your control because like. The game is so cyclical, but I also don't love like waiting. Like, if I'm actively playing it to reach a certain beat in the story, I don't love just like waiting for the moment where I can finally unlock it. But that's where we're at with the Olympian gods, and I imagine that is related to Persephone's plans, which I still haven't seen. That that's like the big post-game thing I'm I'm waiting on. The freaks. <laughs> Weird how my pictures... <laughs> Sadie, I feel like you would do a great Persephone. Um, oh my god, thank you all for joining me. This is so nice. Uh, maxed out dad. Um, honestly, I really liked the like the, the arc that Zag has with Hades is really good. Um, I, I think it's not... It could have been really saccharine, and they keep it like they understand each other, even if they're not like tight. I think that's perfect. Um, Nyx, we're close to maxing out. We are Zagreus. I love this last line. 
He learned quickly, exhibiting his father's strength and even greater de dexterity. Yet he soon showed a quality that startled me much more than his fighting prowess. Oh, forgive me, O oh gods, you are not known for your kindness. Yet this son of the Lord Hades always regarded me a mere shade with respect and the congenial manner of a longtime friend. This, if you haven't read the Codex, it's like some of the best writing in the game. Um, it's also from the point of view of Achilles, which I think is a really nice touch that you get kind of like, you know, you get some bias. Like, you know, if you go to uh, Patroclus, I think I'm pronouncing that okay, or correct, Patroclus, Patroclus. He doesn't want to talk about it. Even some of the gods, he's like, like Ares, he's like, I love all the gods except for this guy. <laughs> and I think uh, the Iliad, I believe, goes into why. Um, yeah, we basically were, oh, we're almost at the end of Thanatos. That's cool. Um, very close. Everyone is either like a heart or two away or locked. So that's cool. Um, so I think we're like nearing the end for that. I also have a ton of prophecies. Like a ton. Look at all these prophecies. Uh, so the big ones too, like I am a diamond away from being able to free Sisyphus. Um, we will definitely smooch then, don't worry. Um, also, for whatever reason, I was listening to the audio earlier. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> my toxic trait is checking the audio like five minutes into a stream but do let me know if it's like skipping I, I noticed that on my end like the music kept kind of skipping out i do know that my mac has kind of like a uh a strange habit of like disconnecting it sounds good <laughs> if you give me enough nectar i will eventually stop asking if the audio sounds good and just like trust myself and trust all of you you know, we'll grow as friends and as people. Orpheus must be an asphodel. Oh, wow. Hearing Zag's voice in my headphones, that was a lot. Uh, in a good way. Back in session. Oh, wow. Hearing Hades' voice in my headphones was a lot in a bad way. Um, okay, let's get started. So, we've got a lot to do. Um, one prophecy that I'm very close to fulfilling that I kind of want to see if we can do first... Because a lot of this is out of our control. Like A lot of it is like we have to seal some contracts with diamonds. Um, the big one that I want to do is Master of Arms. So I have escaped. I've, I've defeated Dad, Hades, with every weapon except for the Adamant Rail. Once we do that, we get 10 Titan Blood. Technically 11, because we've never been him with the Adamant Rail. So the big thing is, like, I don't really... I'll show you this. I haven't really upgraded many weapons. Time to adamantly rail Zeus. Oh my god. Like, this is kind of pathetic. You might even make fun of me. I haven't really, like... We've fully upgraded the sword here, but like nothing else really. I love the aspect of Arthur; it's really cool. Um, I really love the fists, especially the aspect of Talos. You know, I gotta respect Talos, obviously. Um, but a lot of these aspects don't really come into fruition until they're like at least level two or three. And like, we don't have any good options here. I've been using the aspect of Eris. Just because I like this idea of like falling in here and then suddenly I'm more powerful. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to use that. But with 10 Titan Blood, we can actually really upgrade things. No. I wanted the Aspect of Eris. Okay. We also don't have a lot of the trinkets. The Talos Principle. <laughs> I still adore that the six weapon was just a fucking gun. Yeah. <laughs> it is very, it's very surprising when you get it. Um, okay. All right. I think this is a good posture for me. I'm telling you that gaming chair really made my current existence seem less than because I'm sitting in my office chair trying to find like the ideal pose to hold a switch pro controller 
and speak into my mic at my desk. And I'm just like dreaming about gaming chairs. Than smooching posture, yeah. Yeah, what will Than say when he shows up and I don't have a gamer chair? <laughs> so another thing I'm trying to do is, I don't know if it does anything, I don't even know if it makes them more powerful, but I'm trying to get three stars on all the trinkets here. Um, what I really like too is when you max out a relationship, there's like a little drawing of that character next to their trinket. I think that's really cute. I love that. Um, that's great. So anyway, I'm trying. Oh, we might as well do this. It's gonna rank up. And honestly, this is a pretty, this is a pretty good trinket after taking damage. Yeah, that's like, it's pretty good. It's not, it's not the best thing. I think we'll keep Meg as well as our summon because. Uh, it's the highest upgraded. Aspect of Eris. <laughs> Sorry! And we're actually gonna do no, uh, conditions because we haven't escaped yet. So this is just gonna be like a raw run with the rail. Um, I think once we do this, I might do one or two more runs after that. Um, you know, with, with more, uh, more of a pact of punishment going on. But, uh, for now we're just going to do raw dog railing. Come on. <laughs> I didn't mean it. This is a, this is PG content. I've got a, a gallery full of perverts Watching me try to get some Titan blood. I'm just trying to innocently have a raw run with the rail. Anyway, let's do a, a, a heatless raw run with the rail. Begin. One more time. Have you played Call to the Lamb? I have. I actually I I picked it up yesterday. It's really good. I I honestly really like it. Oh, Demeter. Interesting. Hold on, I'm just going to lower the volume a little bit for me. Just for me. Um, Call to the Lamb is really fun. Um, I had, like, no interest in it, really. Um, not for any particular... I mean... My surface-level judgment of, like, at least the advertising, it, it kind of came off a little bit... I don't know. I, I at least was concerned that the tone was going to be very mean-spirited in the sense of like like a happy tree friends or something where it's like oh isn't it isn't it messed up that these cute animals are doing awful things it's definitely more than that like it's it actually does a pretty good job balancing tone um and it's honestly just really fun like you can <laughs> i think the the most effective thing about the game is you kind of forget that you are running a cult sometimes cuz you're like yeah okay i'm going to clean up all the animal poop and make a few sleeping bags and min-max this and then sacrifice my follower and then, oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? <laughs> so we'll talk about it more, but it's a great game. I, I'm really impressed by it. It also incorporates a lot of elements of, like, a lot of modern roguelikes. You can definitely see Hades influence. Definitely Binding of Isaac would probably be the biggest one, I would say, just in terms of the aesthetic. Uh, and honestly, games like rune factory <laughs> in the sense that they're trying to combine like an rpg dungeon crawler with a a like town sim the other thing that i think uh i don't want to say too much because we're talking about it tomorrow i don't want all these keys what are you keys for do you want me to not win this raw rail run I think what's good about Cult of the Lamb is that it's like a 10 to 15 hour game from what I know. Cause like, ew. I think with a lot of roguelikes, the idea is that you kind of play them forever. Like Hades is a great game. You can just kind of revisit whenever. And my friends who play Binding of Isaac, like they've been playing that game for years and years and years. Uh, FTL, similar example. I always revisit that game. Cult of the Lamb is like, because of the subject matter, you're probably not going to want to 
like play it a ton. <laughs> like at a certain point, it starts to kind of get to you. Um, so I think it's it's effective that they're like, okay, we're gonna you know get in, get out in terms of like the experience we're trying to provide. Um, so it's it's really cool. I I'm really enjoying it. I'm really curious how it's gonna end because I think that that can really either seal the deal or or kind of take away from it because I think that that game has the potential of of being like a very effective work of satire and I worry that it's just shock value um, even though I do think it balances tone well like if it's just like isn't it funny you made a cult I'm like I don't know okay that's kind of cool I guess but that's just my opinion I'm just a just the guy who woke up at 8 a.m. And, and decided to play Hades. So, what the hell do I know? I haven't even beaten my dad with the... Okay, I'm going to stop saying this. Because everything I say with the rail, I feel like YouTube's going to ban our account once this video goes up. Dear, dear Steve, because you and your audience are perverts, we've deleted your account. See you in hell the YouTube team. I'm not a pervert. I'm just trying to get 10 Titan blood. God! Charon's offerings ahead, I guess. Are we the perverts? I'm catching up in chat. Where's Garbage? A gallery of perverts. <laughs> this chat's an extension of the fabled perverts alley. <laughs> Uh, Devolver doesn't seem to miss very much. Yeah, honestly, their stuff is great. I, I think Devolver has a pretty incredible library of games. That's kind of why I took a chance on it, because I'm like, you know, they know what they're doing. Dead Cells is great. Yeah, I do think it's a little, I, I agree, it's a little too long. I wonder if it's like, if Dead Cells would have been better off just being a Metroidvania, like straight up instead of a roguelike, but you know. People love that game, so... But I see what you mean. I do I do prefer, like, Hades, most runs are, like, 20 minutes. I think that's the way to go for me. That's just the... <laughs> I like Dead Cells kind of, like, Sega Genesis energy. Oh, interesting. I usually... If we can get a Hermes boon early, I think that's the way to go. Should help keep me going. Oh. Bonus that I think bonus dash is the way to go here. <laughs> okay, interesting. We're getting uh, Dionysus and Demeter. Let's go We're getting uh, an iced, an iced margarita. I love this song. All right, well you gotta pay attention. So I'm not taking advantage of this weapon's perk. Thanks, thanks, Meg. That was great. <laughs> Usually, Meg like is very helpful, but she did not want to. She did not want to be part of this perverted run. She's like, "You're using the adamant rail? No, nah, I'm out of here. I don't want to be part of this." Look at that. Look at that. I love Dionysus. <laughs> He's so good. Ooh, strong drink is a great perk. Uh, special inflicts hangover damage. Oh, man. Okay, chat, I might need your help. I'm between... I feel like this is really good, especially for the rail. Um, but strong drink is like a great, great perk. Yeah, let's do it. It's epic, you know? To that. Ooh. Cool. Let's get some nectar in spirit of uh, our friend Dionysus. Strong drink always. Okay, good to know. <laughs> this game is just like... Honestly, not to be hyperbolic, but 
at least in the time we've been recording into the Aether, I would say this is the best game I have played in that time. Like, overall. Which is kind of amazing. To be able to, like, say that with any kind of confidence. Um, exactly. Nah, not, I rarely buy stuff from this well, to be honest. I think we're good. Daedalus. Do I have a favorite Hades weapon? Yeah, I love the fists. Um, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the Talos fists, the magnetic fists. I also have been really liking the bow lately. Um, especially Harrow's bow, which lets you put the cast, like, in the bow itself. That's a great weapon. Those two I like a lot. Um, I also really like the simplicity of the sword. I think, th I think they all have a build that I like. Like, I don't love the rail, honestly, although it's been growing on me. And I think, like, with the right boons and especially the right Daedalus upgrades, I can really get into the rail. God damn it! Sorry. <laughs> um, the only weapon I'm not really crazy about that I like actively try to avoid is the spear. I don't love the spear. Um, I don't really know why. I don't love having to retrieve it. Because I think it's sort of like... It, it plays kind of like the shield, but at least the shield you can keep away. Alright. Um, so normally I like the rocket, but... Our whole thing is like if we're in the blast, we get more powerful. So both of these would work against that. Um, I think this is good, especially once we get to Elysium. I struggle with the bow. It says slow. Yeah. So the there's a there is a Daedalus perk for the bow that is kind of a must for me. That uh, it like, is a chain attack, so it will pierce through multiple enemies at once. Um, that is a must. Because once you have that, it's like pretty remarkable how effective it is. Hello. I have to say it's good to see a friendly face. I love Sisyphus. Um, I say let's get some gold. Some Charon's coins. Thanks. Sometimes a conversation with a friend is its own reward, isn't that right, Baldy? Video games on a Saturday? I'm actually amazed I haven't streamed this before. Oh. I uh, may or may not have a crush on Artemis. I'll say it. Everyone's got a Hades crush. Honestly, it's hard not to just be, like, eternally in love with Zag. Yet they somehow have a cast full of Zagreus tier characters in terms of this lovability. I was actually talking to two of my close friends about this, about, like, our favorite video game protagonists. And not to keep heaping praise onto Hades, but I think Zag is up there. Like, Zag and Madeline from Celeste would be off the top of my head two of my favorite game protagonists. When I am on the hunt, my mind is clear, and nothing stands between me and my target. Though, have a blessing just in case you can't relate. Dude, she told me have a blessing. She she must love me, right? Okay, uh, let's do attack is stronger. Um, time to hunt. Let's go to Charon, because we got a bunch of coins. Eurydice is a good crush. Eurydice is awesome. I think she's one of my favorite designs in the game. I don't love how much Demeter we're getting. Like, I like Demeter, but I feel like I never know. Oh, let's actually... Can't do that. Oh, how do we, like, look at our... Yeah, here we go. So we got Artemis. That's, like, just good. More attack damage, more critical damage. We can dash more. Oh, we, I didn't realize we had this. We have the... This is one of my favorite casts, actually. Um, credit where credit's due. We got Strong Drink. 
Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I mean, I think we're early enough in our build that I'm I'm happy to incorporate Demeter. I just feel like she always shows up, like, I usually try to focus on two, like, two gods, and Demeter always shows up, like, when I have a build going. I'm like, I don't have room for ice right now. But I think, I think we do. It's early enough that we do. I love her. I mean, she's such a powerful energy. I'm sure she'd like it if we both could help you in this case. <laughs> I also love the spin that she... Oh, wow. Duel. That's sick. I don't think I've ever seen them uh, make a duo boon before. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. Okay, we have definitely... Crystal Clarity is sick. It makes this cast even better. We're absolutely doing that. Teamwork. Yes, I'm eating that. Look at this, it tracks the enemies. It's so good. Hypnos is my hip, is my Hades crush. I love Hypnos. How much can a blessing cost? <laughs> cool. All right, let's do it. We are up against one of the Furies first. I'm going to guess Electo. Let's see if I'm right. Nope, it's Meg. Your little black companion, not too much to handle. Is she? <laughs> I love that she comments, I have like her summon. She's like, You're, just so you know, you can't summon me against me, my guy. She's been positively perfect, thank you, Meg. Especially in how she puts us into contact when I, I love her. their banter so much. Too much hassle helping out from time to time. If you're hoping to avoid the hassle, you definitely come to the wrong place. All right. This might be the best song in the game, I think. The painful way. Ooh. Ooh. Is it just me, or do these big guys look like Raphael from Three Houses a little bit? Like, they even have his hair. <laughs> just a bunch of Raphaels. Oh, hey, Zagreus! Have you heard about my little sis? No! That was great. I've also been converted recently to the stubborn defiance school of magic, and uh, it is great. It's really good. It is nice to have three death defiance stacked up, especially once you get to Hades, but... Oh, cool. So now we, we just max this out. What if we did dad? The thing is, I, just, I don't love Hades' call. I don't love the darkness. Um... I wouldn't mind, I mean, we're, we already have a bit of Dionysus in us. I wouldn't mind leveling this up. Or maybe, uh, actually, I think we have more Demeter, so why don't we take the Frostbitten Horn? We only have two more in this row, and then just the last row. Do the Palm Flowey. Yeah, the Palm Flowey. Oh, well, it's closed now. The Palm Flowey is great. I'm just trying to uh, max them all out. This, the laser beam is the secret main character. <laughs> Asphodel, here we go. I recently, uh, I recently reunited Orpheus with Eurydice. And it was a beautiful moment. Honestly, I gotta stream this more often. This is so much fun to share with all of you. 
I appreciate you all joining me today. It might be cool too to share. I mean, I remember Brendan streamed this game a lot right when it came out. So it might be fun to have like, you know, his like early game streams and then I can stream the sort of end game stuff. The thing is too, I enjoy this game enough on a mechanical level that I'm open to just like eventually like score chasing. I love Hermes. Oh, sorry. Uh. Ooh. Greater Evasion is good, and it's the it's the higher rarity, but Side Hustle. Side Hustle is really helpful. I'm just gonna do Side Hustle. Did you try the Diofield Chronicle demo? I did actually. I played that uh, the other night. Um, I'm really. I only did like the tutorial mission, so I haven't played very much of it. Um, I really like the concept. I like the. Uh, I like the fusion of sort of like real-time combat with sort of like a Fire Emblem approach. Um, and I really love the illustrations of the characters, but the presentation is just like really dry. Like there's a, and that's not a deal breaker, but it does like, especially after coming from Hades, <laughs> it is a little bit jarring. Like you eventually, uh, there's sort of like a monastery place you like walk around and it's just like really like unsaturated green and beige. It's like it looks like a waiting room. It's like really boring. <laughs> I don't know why like that aspect of it kind of turned me off, but I do think that there's something going on with the combat. So I definitely want to either give it more time or wait on reviews because um, I do think that there's something there. Ooh, let's do the uh, the dual boons here. Yeah, we don't have enough to make use of the shop. Oh. Uh. I would rather make Dionysus upset. Just, like, narratively. <laughs> so the call is good, but I like making our lasers even better. So, let's do that. I like how Dionysus talks as if he's like in a David Bowie song, you know? It's fantastic. I might, I might need some help here. Uh, oh my god. I'm not gonna lose here? So Dionysus is wrath? I mean, he's a very strong god. I don't want to anger the gods yet again. This is especially difficult. It's the pools of lava mixed with the lava, or excuse me, pools of, of wine me meshed with the lava that's really difficult here. Oh my god, just narrowly. Wow. Alright, alright, alright. We're cool, we're cool. No need to get all hot and bothered any longer here. Dionysus. <laughs> uh, special inflicts hangover, that's good. I love After Party. This is great. Especially with with Stubborn Defiance. This will help out a lot. I want to do that. I, want to do, I love Aphrodite, but we're, we're having an Artemis build here. Let's do it. And we're off. 
Their fights are harder if you have their poster in your bedroom. Is that true? That's so funny. Is there a poster for every god? I only have, um... I have Apollo... Excuse me. I have, uh, Yeah. No, no, no. I have Achilles, Dionysus, and Aphrodite. Yeah, this, this is maybe, I would say, one of the best casts. At least, like, as a solo thing. Like, for for Hera's bow, I like Artemis's cast a lot. To, like, put that into a shot. Or, um... Aphrodite's cast is also fun. No, and uh, Dionysus has a great cast as well. The Festive Fog. I do. I would like that as a mechanic if the posters made them stronger. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I never really do dash strikes like consciously. I'm gonna do hunter's mark here. I'll make every strike count. How's everyone's morning going? If it's morning by you, actually, it's about noon in Chicago, so it's no longer. I guess it's still kind of the morning. We need to get a boon for our special. nectar because I do know that I don't I don't know if the wretched the wretched broker changes the deals or not but I do know that nine or ten nectar gets a diamond and I know that we're one diamond away from freeing Sisyphus which I would love to do so also nectar's just good to have I think in terms of darkness, I only have one one part of the mirror left to upgrade. So we're like mostly okay on darkness. I can't. Where is my cast? Let's do some shopping. Bike ride and not words. That's a great morning ritual. Going well, I'm putting together a coffee table. Hell yeah. I'm about to break out some Xenoblade. Nice. Xenoblade 3 is really good. I don't know if I've said that 
on air yet, but I'll take this one. I have I have said that. Uh none of this is great, but I'll do the dash. I'll do the dash. That's kinda cool. I think um The rail with the chain lightning zoo spoon is really good. Especially good. So I forgot the difference between the different learnings. I know the green one like hatches eggs. I'm not sure what the deal with this one is. Oh, this one uh, also hatches eggs. Great. Maybe that's just all of them. Maybe they hatch into different things. That is a little weird that their their eggs hatch into like men, <laughs> like skeleton men, <laughs> instead of like little snakes. But, you know, whatever. Not yet. May help. Nice, that was a good hit. Wow. Green heads will egg you, pink do the lasers, and uh, a third one. Hades 2, the more Hades here. <laughs> green one is the worst. Yeah, I remember, I remember not liking the green headed Lerny. Is there a fish here? I think I heard a fish. I think I heard a fishing sound. No. I didn't hear anything. Bone Hydra got railed. Come on. <laughs> Should have never said the name of this weapon. I trust you had a pleasant stay in Asphodel. Maybe I should switch. Uh. How many floors are we away from ranking this up? 26. I don't really know what the rank up. Does it make it more powerful? Is that a thing? I think it's more important that we finish this run then rank this up. So I'm actually going to switch to the Artemis one. Just because I really want to get support fire with the rail. And either that or her call, I think, will really, really help. Artemis's call is, like, essentially cheating in the world of Hades. It just takes out a boss for you and your friends. So we're going to do that. Much nicer climate. Uh, ooh, money or I want to do Daedalus. Ah, I want to do money because the day at this point the gun isn't working okay. A lot of the rail upgrades are like the bombs hurt you and the gun misfires. It's like why do why would I want that? These little baby chariots. Uh. Don't cross me again. 
Oh, I heard Chaos. Okay, so we got Daedalus. I might go to Chaos. Might as well. Triple Bomb is really good. You're right. I'm a I'm a fan of Chaos though. <laughs> I'm sorry to ignore Daedalus. I uh, I do worship Chaos, so here we are. All right, for the next encounters, each time you special, you get. Ooh, your cast deal. That's that could be good for us. I think the cast damage. Oh, yeah, we shouldn't use the special for the next four encounters. Or at least try not to. That was great. Gemstones are fine. Does anyone have a good recommendation for YouTube video essays on video games? Oh yeah. Uh, honestly, I actually just watched one. Um, Game Maker's Toolkit is fantastic. Uh, ooh. I'm gonna trust Artemis here. Uh, game Maker's Toolkit, uh, he does a lot of videos just about game design in general, um, but he has a, a mini-series called Boss Keys that started off as specifically playing through every Zelda game and kind of understanding the level design and seeing like what makes a good Zelda dungeon, at least in his opinion. Um, though he does, he does, like, he definitely has a take, but he does a lot of research and really tries to, tries to kind of, uh, no one could ever be objective, but I think he's less concerned with his opinion and more about, like, what is the design of this? And he'll let you know which he prefers, but, um, he'll, he'll just sort of lay it out for you. And he does a lot of, like, graphs and stuff. So, he loves Hollow Knight, and he has a episode in that series about Hollow Knight. So I'd recommend Game Maker's Toolkit. Um, and honestly, the Hollow Knight video is, is fantastic. So there you go. Oh, fuck! I had no idea it was on my last life. Oh no, I've never seen Chaos rub it in! That was haunting! <laughs> oh my god. What a letdown. Can do better than that. Here I was recommending. The, actually, I didn't read the fine print of the chaos boon. It was if you recommend YouTube video essays to your friend, you'll die on the spot. <laughs> yeah, Game Maker's Toolkit is fantastic, and honestly, like, it's really fun to watch the whole Zelda one because you can see how he refines his research throughout the process. I don't always agree with him. I feel like he has a preference for like he he really likes dungeons that like make you kind of like circle back and make mental notes of the map in your head and like I get lost so easily that like I don't really love that like I don't mind if a game just tells me where to go so I feel like I I don't always agree but I really love the way he lays out the information I always fancied Thanatos you know so put together and everything I'm pleased to see you've grown so close things good between you two they are thank you mother What's Dad up to? Your reports have been much more punctual of late, Hypnos. 
That is to be expected. However, the illustrated edges, a clever detail, ensure certain reports are easily procured from a sack of parchment. <laughs> Master, glad you like those. I love Ever his nose. Since Thanatos made pretty clear to me I was about to lose my job, I started keeping a list of my own tasks, which I sort through each day, deciding on priority, estimating time of completion, cost-benefit analysis. Yes, well, certainly then you have a number of such tasks requiring your attention. Continue working diligently then. Okay. Yeah, there's been like a subplot of everybody like slowly respecting Hypnos more, which I love. Um, oh, so we actually, we might be able to... I can't believe you got me like that, Zach. I'm going to get you back. Okay, so we have six nectar. We need ten for a diamond. Uh, I don't think we can make this work. All right. Hey, you know what? We're just warming up. It's only it's only noon. I could do a few more runs. Uh, okay, cool. I didn't I didn't expect to do to do it in one run, but usually I get at least up to Theseus. Okay. Chat, if you're still with me, I'm still willing to go. Got at least two more runs in me. I actually might... I might switch back. I know I recently said I was a convert uh, to Stubborn Defiance. I might switch back to Death Defiance. I just think it... Especially if we're using the rail, I think it... Uh, I don't know. Oh, I, here, actually, let me see. The, you, that's the big thing. So the big thing is that you get 50% of your life instead of 30. I'm going to do I'm going to do death defiance. Game Maker's Toolkit I think uh, leans to more complex stuff simply because after so much analysis you start to appreciate the design of the system. Yeah, absolutely. I and I I definitely like agree with with his points. I just think like um, I think he's definitely gotten like I love all his stuff, but he's gotten better at like just sort of laying out like the design and and how he feels. I think there's a point in the uh, Zelda series where like you can tell he's like getting really sick of Zelda, <laughs> and he's like he really hates handholding and linear design. And uh, by extension, he's really critical of the Wind Waker dungeons, which like I understand, especially like if you're you know playing them all back to back and seeing like. There's a, he eventually kind of um, categorizes all Zelda dungeons into three categories. One is, lo and I love this, one is lock and key, one is puzzle box, and one is gauntlet. So the idea is lock and key is like a series of locked doors or just obstacles that you have to find the key for. And that could literally be a key or like, you know, the bow and arrow that lets you progress. Um, puzzle box is the idea of like the dungeon or temple itself having to be manipulated. So a good example of that are the uh, Divine Beasts in Breath of the Wild. It's like you actually have to move them around to navigate. Or um, some of the dungeons in Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, like the Water Temple, for example, where it's all about rising and, and lowering, uh, raising and lowering the, the water levels. And then Gauntlet is the idea of like, you're kind of just like, have a set course path where you're experiencing either combat or puzzles in the moment, but there really isn't a need to explore the dungeon itself. Um, and I don't think that's inherently bad, but I do get that like if the whole game is that, you're not really getting a certain aspect of Zelda that you might want to get. Um, but uh, I love Wind Waker, so don't don't say anything bad about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, honestly, it's it's really insightful. I really really recommend it. Um, no idea. So here's a question for chat. Do Should I try to do the rail again? Should I try to escape with the rail again? Or should I take a different weapon and try a higher bounty? Where, where are we feeling? Bonus damage for stacking negative status effects. Oh, in the mirror? 
Oh, wait a minute, we should practice. I can grow stronger. You're talking about, uh... Abyssal blood? Reduce... No, no, no. Um... What is that? I know what you're talking about. What is that? This one. Privilege status, deal bonus damage versus foes afflicted by at least two status curse effects. So, status curse effects, that means, like, if they have, like, hangover damage or are weak or have doom, like, that is... Ten time blood is real tasty. Yeah, I think... Let's stick with the rail. Let's try it again. I think we did all right that run. I don't think we had... I think we did a lot of, like... We had a lot of defensive boons, but not a lot. Like, I think at that point where we were at, we needed a little bit more offense. You're no mere weapon, are you? There's also the... Do you think the aspect of Hestia, Hestia might be better? Because it's just after you reload your next shot is empowered versus having to be in a special blast, which this does limit us. Yeah, let's do let's do Hestia. All set. Yeah, that that will that will just happen more often, I think. Air is better at higher levels. Yeah, that that makes sense. Um, in terms of keepsakes, I want to keep Meg. I might also. I I really want. I think having Artemis like in the bank, is good. Although, this is such a good ability just to have in general. What are we thinking? The Adamant Arrowhead or the Palm Blossom? Or something else? I think my goal of leveling all these up is a good one, but we don't have to do that this run. Arrowhead? Yeah. I think you're right. I think Artemis will guide us to our goal. I just think, like, getting this with support fire... Oh my god. That's... That, like, that is the boon we need to get. Um, Alright. Another... Another... <laughs> another raw run... Palm Blossom is better once you have the boon. Oh, good point. Oh. Divide. I love these moments. Sorry, Father. I'm gonna do it anyway. Just have to cross a couple rivers. Yeah, now. exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah, here she is. Enough toying around with our prey there, Zagreus. What do you say we finish it this time? I agree. This is the run. Uh, right. Don't forget you can re-roll boons a few times. Oh, that's a, I totally forgot about that. I think this is a good one to start with. I, I might want to save re-rolling for later. So let's do Deadly Strike for now. I just feel like the... the Bomb Blast is better served by another god, you know? I think, like, this just seems more applicable for our current skill set. I'm gonna do it. The dead better hide. Right I also think Chaos might be better to take on... Oh. Speak of the devil. Quite literally. Um... Chaos is better to take on earlier, because like giving ourselves a penalty in Elysium, I think, definitely hurt us a little bit. Lessons learned. <laughs> I loved Chaos so much. For the next four encounters, you cannot collect... Okay, that's... Ooh. I like this gold. Slippery affluence. Because we're not... We have the core cast right now. We're not going to use it for a while. I think this is, this is worth it. Uh, darkness. 
Chaos feels bad they got you killed. Yeah, I, I think they do. They're they're benevolent, even though they're you know largely indifferent in some ways. You always get gold from Chaos. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad that was the right move. Damn. Also, I usually have the timer on. Not that I have ever speed run this game. Uh, or I've, I've never really done speedruns, but I usually have the timer up, but I got rid of it just because I thought that was a better place for chat. But if I ever decide to do speedruns on stream, I will, I will have it there. It is kind of fun to see. I think my best time was like 19 minutes. Not very good. <laughs> Ooh, pomegranate. I like these little jar guys. Raphael, nice to see you. Hey, where's the food? Why is everyone talking about war when there's food to have? Oh, hey, Ignatz. Oh, hi. What's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, we're friends, aren't we? Come on, talk to me. Sorry, I don't know what this is. That's not Raphael. That's an, <laughs> that's an imposter. That's Hades, Raphael. Hey! Haven't you ever heard about food? A palm of power. Stronger still. What just happened? <laughs> Classic Iggy. Ooh. I'm sorry for randomly screaming. Hey, Prince. Uh so, you do know Baldi's just a plain old rock <laughs> oh. with a few lines chiseled into him resembling a face, don't you? Uh, chiseled into it, I mean. Just so you don't get the wrong idea. <gasps> Come now, sir. We both know full well Baldi's much more than that. You really think I doubt the power of Baldi after everything we've been through? <laughs> no, it was just a jest there at Baldi's expense. Look at him. He gets so annoyed when I call him a plain old rock like that. But then he calls me an old lazy lump, and then we're even for a while. Let's get some more gold. Most excellent. Cheers, mate. Hey, Baldy, how's everything? Speaking of screaming, there was a oh, Demeter. Yeah, let's do it. Um, <laughs> there was a recent review of the show that was like, I love the show, but Steven's laugh is too much. Um. And I'm like, that is literally the feedback I got on my report card, like, every year growing up. So, it's good feedback. But I'm sorry, I can't, I can't help it. It would be like, yeah, Steven got an A in history, but like, he screamed the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really into it. I really love learning about it. What's wrong with that? Your father always had a stern Your father. <sighs> Ooh. Uh, I mean, I think we do the, the, the cast again. The call is pretty good, but the cast is, is better. Desolation. In my opinion. This one option. <laughs> I appreciate the support. I just live in the moment. It's not like I'm showing up with the with the scream ready. I honestly too, like, I just can't, like, I can't whisper. If I whisper, it is as loud as I'm talking now, but it's just like, like, why even bother? I'm just gonna talk. I'm also, <laughs> I, truly, I can't hear very well out of my right ear. So when people whisper to me, I'm like, huh? So like, I am the least equipped for like scheming or subtlety. 
so that's you know you just gotta know your own limits. Excellent. It's okay. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely going shopping. We have 430 gold. I listened to the cats episode today. Oh my god. Break off a piece of that pigma while you're at it. No, I'm not. If I do pigma right now, it's gonna like my computer's gonna shut down. I listened to the cats episode today, and now I think this is not enough volume in songs in other episodes. <laughs> I appreciate it. I also think that review was in jest. I, I didn't. I didn't take it too seriously. Uh, gonna do side hustle again. Ooh, there's a fish. Got to hold nice and still. No fish this time. Uh, ooh, I do like premium. I feel like strong drink is good, but this is, uh, this is good, too. Hit this pot. Look at us. Patreon bonus Les Mis song sung by Pigma. <laughs> Oh, don't make me cast Les Mis as Star Fox characters. That is... That is truly a haunted prospect. But yes, Peppy is the bishop. I'll say it. And obviously, Fox and Wolf are Valjean and Javert. I mean, honestly, Star Wolf has a very Javert entrance. He shows up and it's like, It's me, your worst enemy! <laughs> you know, it's, it's very campy. Star Fox could easily be a musical with like just a few edits. So I think you're onto something. Uh, well, we learned the lesson the hard way with Dionysus last time, so. Let's switch. After party. You truly think you can withstand the ravages of winter, Zagreus? That I would. Have mercy, Demeter. She can't stay mad forever. Ooh, I think having the special inflict chill is a nice idea. Look at that, that's cool. All right, everyone's gonna yell at me, let's do Daedalus. Actually, oh man, if we can get the, ooh. So there's a, there's a Daedalus perk for the rail that makes it shoot like five bombs but they do a little bit less damage but you have like a huge spread it's great um yeah this is this is the one for sure i do kind of like this sometimes but i think for what we're going with uh, this will be better there's like no downside to this one it's like oh this this is kind of cool but flurry fire absolutely let's go exegra is did i did i hear a fish I like i always see a fish as soon as i leave a room to Siphonies up. Let's see. I haven't fought Electo in a long time, so that's to Siphony. I find Electo to be the hardest, other than when they're all there. I find Electo the most difficult. Although it depends on your build. I do think if you're not a melee build, to Siphony can be tricky, because her whole thing is like making the arena smaller. But Electo just does the most, like, chaotic damage. Cool. 
I actually think getting, like, uh, Demeter's frost powers with the rail is good, because we can slow enemies down. Keep our distance. There we go. No, reload would ruin your weapon, too, since you got the bonus damage after reload. Yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's true. That's a good point. You got a good memory. Uh, I almost ruined yet another run. Here we go. I'll just be a moment, Father. I'm going to keep... Uh, we still have yeah, Artemis. Choose. I'll keep the arrowhead. Because we actually only have one Artemis boon so far. What's for sale? Just out of curiosity. Ooh, I do like this. Why not? I'll take it. Next floor. Hey, Brendan. Thanks for joining me. I also I'm gonna be cleaning my apartment later too. Today is like a laundry and cleaning day, but I'm like it's also a Hades day. Love that sulfur smell. So this is our set. For those who are tuning in just now, this is our second run. We are attempting to break out of the underworld with the rail for the first time. And once we do so, we will. I will have broken out of the underworld with every weapon, and I will be awarded ten Titan Blood, which will allow us to really finally upgrade a lot of these weapons. So ideally, what I'd love to do is on this stream, I'd love to break out with the rail and then do a run with more heat with an upgraded weapon. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Cleaning the house during the week and basking in the clean today? That is such a good idea. Why do I wait till Saturday to clean? Ooh. Hey, I know this one. Yes. Yes. I want to do a group photo. Hold on. I'll be here. Love that. Hey, you're singing in the blood after all, Orpheus. Thank you for taking my request. Oh, it is certainly my pleasure, Zagreus. This song of Eurydice's and mine, I have a connection to it, I suppose. Reminded me of some fond memories. I love them. Uh, up to two random boons of yours upgrade to the next rarity. That's pretty good. I want to do refreshing nectar though, just because we also have that boost stack all of that. It's a good idea. Thank you, friends. Bye. See you next time. Yeah, I had so many like I. Had, I had finished the game, quote unquote, but I had not done a lot of the lingering stuff. So I'm, I'm I've reunited them. Um, I'm close to reuniting Achilles and Patroclus, and I'm close to freeing uh, Sisyphus. And the the big thing I have to do is whatever Persephone's plan is with the Olympian gods. So there's actually a lot of content ahead of me. Not to mention I haven't seen like so one of the one of the perks is uh or one of the ooh, hell yeah. Alright. We're gonna get a really good boom from Artemis with everything stacked up here. Um How do you level up your cult? <laughs> it is funny to go from Cult of the Lamb to this game, because like on one level, they have a similar aesthetic, but this game is, like, so wholesome and about, like, you know, finding love for others and, and reuniting people. And Call to the Lamb is like, well, all my cultists actually love to eat poop, and I'm going to kill one of them to get a better weapon. I'm not exaggerating.
I've always liked this arena on this, like, river. What is everyone's favorite Hades area? I always have a tough time deciding. It can be for aesthetic reasons or gameplay reasons. Alright, support fire, please. Ooh, oh wow, we got the, the duo again. Um, should we take the Crystal Clarity? Lots of content could be lots of streams. Steven, will you ever go crazy like me and max out the resource director? <laughs> I would love to. Honestly, this is a game that I would love to max out entirely. I always love the fight against Meg. Aesthetically, I love Elysium, but I have a fiery hatred for every enemy in Elysium. Yeah, that's that's the common consensus, I feel. I have the little room where the demons are sitting at desks doing office work. Yes. Elysium rules. Definitely Elysium. Go for Crystal. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, Elysium is really cool. I honestly feel like... I mean, aesthetically, I love the Realm of Chaos. Chaos is really cool. Um, I really like Tartarus, though, just because it feels like when I think of Hades, I think of that place. Um, I also love Styx. I mean, I love all of them, really. Styx always stands out to me because it feels like... I love what it feels like on the cusp of the reality between, like, mortal kind and the underworld. And it, it, I feel like Styx is, like, the game briefly being like, what if this game was Diablo? And that's, like, kind of fun. Um, yeah, I would say overall, I think Tartarus is iconic. But they all, they all have their own identity and their own function. I think it's interesting about Asphodel. It's like, this is in the lore of, of the game. And I imagine this is somewhat faithful to Greek mythology. But in the lore of the game, this is where like most people go. Like Tartarus is if you were if you were bad on Earth, if you were evil in some way. Most people go to Asphodel, and Elysium is sort of like Valhalla. Um, so there's something kind of mysterious about Asphodel being like, like it looks the most like we commonly see Hell, but it technically is like this is like Coach. Like, this is like <laughs> economy afterlife, which is kind of funny. I'll pay for that. Ooh. Um, I want to do the call. I think the call. Eh. I actually might re-roll. How about some other boons instead? Do I get a free carry on Asphodel? <laughs> Tartarus is spirit air. Uh, I'm gonna do the 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 dash here. Not not the best, not the worst. Should come in useful. We still have um, Eur Eurydice's boon with us, so that will help us get some good abilities. Good day, Manny. <laughs> Prepare to die. Yeah, Tartarus is Spirit Air. Asphodel is Economy American Airlines. Elysium is First Class. And Styx is Secaucus Junction. That's it. And then the surface is actually Greece. Because <laughs> they just say that in the game. Getting to the surface for the first time in this game is one of my favorite moments in a video game. I, it is kind of sad that like once you finish the Persephone story, you don't really get to go back. But I understand why you don't. 
It wouldn't really make sense. The thing about the rail and this current build is like, I actually do really like this build, but there's so much to keep track of with like your ammo and the timing of the of the special and also my casts. I do kind of like the simplicity of other builds. Like the fists are very simple. And the bow, Hera's bow is like just the right amount of setup because like when you cast, it's just like included in your attack. But this is definitely like, I'm the rail is growing on me, for sure. And this this shot is becoming a favorite, especially with Artemis's help. Look at that. Sakak gets junctured at 1.48 a.m. You missed the last train by a minute. I am sh I sure am not cleaning. Oh, man. I'm so excited. I haven't gotten any of the statues. I think the highest heat I've done is, like, five. So, I think once, again, like, once I complete this run with the rail... Um, I will focus on like doing higher heat runs. Yeah, I'm, I'm into this again. I've realized the importance of, of money, uh, both in real life and also in this game. Uh, I think having side hustle and, and really investing, like that way, like whenever you do stumble across Charon, it's like three, bo three boons in one encounter, which is sick. Uh, but, like, we keep, I keep getting all these, like, boon upgrades, yet and yet, I keep give, being given, like, gems. How do you do? Not even in the depths of hell can escape capitalism. <laughs> I do like how this game kind of interprets, like, the afterlife as, like, a giant bureaucracy, you know? Like... Like, it's just a lot of office work and a lot of, like, census work. I like that. It's like, Hades isn't... He's stern, but he's not cruel. He's not, like, you know... He doesn't... He's different from, from the Olympians. Uh, the game explores that really subtly. It's kind of fun. In some ways, I feel like he is what Zagreus could have been if Zagreus didn't invest in in helping other people. You know, because I think like nice meeting you. Uh, this. Power. Give me Daedalus. I love and hate the, like, baby cats, baby chariots. They're, like, purring. I was going to say, as much as Hades is justified in resenting his family, he also hasn't made any effort to, like, rectify things. 
and kind of becomes a bitter person. So I think a lot of Zagreus' story is showing Hades like, hey, there's a way to... There's a way to reach out to other people, man. Uh, foes targeted by a special move slower. Take, that's that's pretty good. Oh, but we found the one. We found the one. 40-ish heat. Hell yeah. My butterfly balls are, are bad. Cluster bomb. Look at this. Look at this ability. Look at this. <laughs> this is a game where you have options, and one of them is this. And it's like, why would I not choose that? Come on. I don't. No offense, Aphrodite, but I want, I want Artemis. We want the support fire. I've been like choosing all these boon upgrading abilities, specifically for either her call or support fire. I actually don't know if I love Aphrodite's abilities. There are some cool ones. I think they're very defensive. And I think weak can be can be fun when paired with other things, but overall I'd say I gravitate towards Artemis, Ares. And like I mean it, it depends it depends. Everyone kinda goes well with, with each other. I feel like with Poseidon and Oh, she heard me. We'll do Hermes. I'm sorry, Aphrodite. <laughs> Her call is really good, yeah. I feel like with Poseidon, I I need to like know what if I'm committing to a Poseidon build right away. Otherwise, I just sort of take Ocean's bounty. Same with Zeus. I think Zeus is like a little one note. But Zeus and Poseidon go really well together, and I, yeah, I've noticed like some gods just go well together, like Artemis and Ares. Oh, great combo, fantastic combo. And honestly, Artemis and Demeter are also pretty good. That that dual cast shot is so good. So you know, what the hell do I know? I like how we're doing. We're still, we still have three death defiances. You need to hurry up and get out of there. You're running out of time. You're not really, but it's a bit of motivation, eh? Oh wow. Three bonus dashes. I mean, I feel like I have to do that one, right? I do like the attack speed being faster, but this just seems very silly. So I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> it's like Looney Tunes. Uh, okay, oh, we have 600 gold. I think we gotta go, I'm sorry, Patroclus, but we gotta go to Charon. Zeus. Zeus got for us. In one place, mate. This is a little bit too. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna re-roll here. Any other blessings, maybe? I think. Honestly, I think this dash is gonna be better than the one I have. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, the, the, the chain lightning. I'm going to go with this one. Because look, look at, now that we have, <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> yeah, that, I think we made the right call. Always a pleasure, Charon. Finally, our girl Artemis is back. I'm actually going to save Meg for Theseus and Asterius.
Oh, wow. Hidebreaker is... Oh, the call. We gotta do the call. Or... No, we can't. We roll. Let's do the call for now. Ideally, I want the... The support fire, but the call is also good. And it's at least rare, so that's something. I love that I can dash five times and lightning follows me around. Ooh. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Sorry for cursing. There's two butterfly balls. That's what's messing me up. Wow. Delicious. Let's upgrade the call. Oh cool. Gems or a key. That's really what I that's really what I need right now. <laughs> yeah, this build <laughs> this build is insane. <laughs> This build is like how everyone wants to describe what they're doing in D&D. &D. It's like, okay, I'm gonna use my dash and lightning follows me everywhere, and then I'm gonna shoot bombs <laughs> everywhere in front of me, and then I'm gonna call my cool girlfriend to kick everyone's ass, and then I'm gonna throw down ice robots that will follow one guy, and then I'm gonna pull out my fucking gun and shoot a ghost. Yeah, we are living the dream. Yeah, all, all things considered, I also don't love the Adamant Rail, but it's doing well. And we got it. We got to use it at least once to get all that Titan blood. So, Ugh, butterflies. That was, that was awesome. This is zero heat. <laughs> this is just a normal, this is a quote unquote normal run. I haven't, um, I haven't ever beaten Hades on zero heat. So I'm trying to do that because once I've done that, I will have. Pleasure doing business. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Hunter's Mark. That could be really good. Yeah, let's do Hunter's Mark. The hunt is on. Once I have escaped with the rail, uh, I said this before, but just in case you missed it, I will have escaped with all the weapons, and that is a prophecy that gives us ten Titan blood, which is too good to pass up. So I want to do that first, and then, then do another run or two on higher heat. All right. Are we out of Meg summons? Yeah, we are. That's okay. I, I believe I mean we have we have three death defiance still. I think we're good. I think we'll at least make it to, to Hades. Ooh. Let's take out Asterius first. I had a fun moment in the story where Hypnos asked for Asterius' autograph. He's a big fan, and it was just like a very touching moment. And then when I came back here, Theseus was like, "Hell spawn! I will give you my autograph if you want it." And Zag's like, "No thanks, I'm good." <laughs> it's very funny. I like how they have one character in the game who like never really gets redeemed. Theseus is like always kind of a jerk, and you know, some people don't change. It's okay. I do love the Minotaur, though. I feel bad for him. Oh, 
Oh, that was a great spot to put that. <laughs> the thing about the rail is that it's really tough against bosses because it tends not to do that much damage. At least I found. Or maybe that's not even accurate. I don't know. It's just, it's not doing a lot right now, but you know what does do a lot of damage? This. Oh, wow. That actually didn't... This is, uh... They're really going all out here. I just died. It's okay. I think I think we'll pull through. Okay, one down. feeling it was going to be Poseidon. Uh, that sound of the shield like, haunts me. Got two? Alright, we gotta get serious here. Finally. Wow. Wow. That was a really tough fight. That's like the most trouble they've ever given me, like since the beginning. <laughs> Check in with the fan. Theseus is a cop. <laughs> Catching up on chat. I love when summons boons taunt Theseus. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. The Magnet's Fist is so good. I love it. Yeah, the Athena Dash is great. I, uh, I love the Athena Dash. Can we buy a... I was hoping we were going to have uh, the one that replenishes... Should be useful. Death Defiance. But honestly... We're, we're, we have a stacked enough build that I think we can potentially take on Dad. Also, we have a pretty... We have a, we have a lot of money, so we can actually... I'm not against, like, really kind of buying everything that I had to offer here. Let's see, though. Okay, so ooh, nice. Definitely get an Artemis. Don't spend it all in one place, mate. Lightning Rod or Hunter Instinct? Lightning Rod sounds really cool, but I feel like it never really works out the way I want it to. Hunter Instinct, I feel like, is more uh, synergist with our build. Yeah, Death of Fines can show up in the fountains. Duos never do what I want them to do. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Thank you. On the prowl. Is there a fish in here? Father must have put you Hi, Ducky. This. I know, uh, I was saying this a long time ago, but I forgot to bring it up. I know that uh, on some of the extreme measures, which change up the boss fights, um... I haven't seen any of the changed boss fights past Lerny, 
the Bone Hydra. So I'm excited to see how they are different. Um, I'm going to do Heart first, just because we don't have any Death Defiance, so I wouldn't mind more health. Let's see what's in here. Ugh. I like looked down for a second. Ew. <laughs> Yuck. Since when is this? This is like suddenly cover based shooting. <laughs> Ew. That was an awful experience for everyone involved. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to see the upgraded Theseus fight. I have no idea what it is. I feel like they probably give him like a chariot or something. Seems to make sense given the arena. It's something. <laughs> I'm scared now. Gotta say, the rail. Oh, I missed the gold. The rail is great for this area. Because you, ge you generally want to keep your distance. Oh, fuck. Uh, where's the. Oh, there it is. Come on! There we go. <laughs> oh good, there's a, a well of camera on here. Come on, enough with the poison. I do love uh, Athena's dash here. You can deflect the poison back at them. Ew, ew, ew. Uh, there we go. I'm just panicking at this point. <laughs> so hard to see. That is also like if another small critique of this game is like it is often really hard to make out what's happening, but you know. Whatever. Uh oh. I'm gonna do Hydrolyte. I'm gonna buy both of these. I got the money. What moves is your crit chance on right now? How do I tell that? Can I just see like what my overall crit chance is? I don't know. Oh, just knowing your bit. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay, so what else we got here? I want to buy more health. Nothing else. I don't, I don't know if I need the, the pomegranates or the titan blood here. Why did I, why did I do this? Um, okay. I say I don't really know. I'm gonna go with Demeter. Cause she's she's primarily in our build and this feels right.
Hydrolite was a good investment, especially in sticks when you can lose health very quickly, but you want to explore more. And we have an additional... Can we use Meg against Hades or no? I can't remember if you can't summon her against Hades. Some gold as well. In the name of Hades. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> oh, is the idea that that's like a big like dog bowl of water for Cerberus? I never put that together. Okay, I think So we could we can go get some pomegranates. Let's see. So we can get if we go into any of these chambers, we'll have enough probably for a pomegranate. Should we get another boon before we fight dad? I'm kind of feeling okay, and I don't know if if either of these guys are going to give us like a huge leg up given our current build. What do you what do you all think? Very uh, suspenseful. I think it's dad fighting time. Yeah, I think you're right. I think, you know, we have full health. I, I'd rather go with full health than, like... Solitary weakness in if we had more death defiance, I would maybe go. That is that is one thought, though. What if we could buy... No, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We have a lot of health, too. Wish me luck. I also think the rail is, I think having a long ranged weapon against Hades is helpful as well. Understands, thank you. Hate to keep you from your parchment work. It seems our realm has many weaknesses. I shall deal with them shortly then. All right. That is actually fun. The my cast kind of helps me find out where it is.
Oh. No! Oh, that was so close. My, my range of fire is a little shorter than I expect every time. Can't use mech. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> That's cool. Ugh. Please, no, not two of them! Phase two. so close dude that's your dad <laughs> all right all right all right all right i'm gonna do one more and i'm gonna try the rail again because i really i think that that will be a nice finale to this stream is like getting getting the 10 titan blood so i'm gonna give it one more shot Win or lose, that will probably be the end of the stream. But one more run, and uh, hopefully that will be the victorious run with the rail, and we will get 10 Titan Blood. Uh, so I hope you're all still with me. If not, thank you for joining me, but I am going to do one last run today. Uh, I was... <laughs> that is maybe the most like emotionally invested I've been in a battle on stream since I did my Nuzlocke run. Wow. That we're all we've got, and that we love each other. I love that. Through thick and thin. Wait, you're not, you're not thinking about having more children, are you? <laughs> no, you're plenty. <laughs> yeah, my, my current son constantly tries to destroy the underworld. You have a good heart, lad. Keep listening to it. I love that. I love Achilles. Take care, sir. Let's take a let's take a peek at the painting. The master chambers. We could hear your gamer noises during the fight. Oh my god. I hope that's not I don't know what that means. <laughs> I hope it wasn't bad. I don't know what gamer noises are. 
I mean, I'll take some advice. If it means that gamer noises don't happen, then, uh, then yeah, whatever you got. <laughs> Steven is getting canceled. <laughs> Was I like, like, no joke, was I like breathing very heavily? Because I can move away from the mic. I, I, to I totally like lost consciousness during that fight, so. Do you enjoy Orpheus' singing, Nix? I apologize for whatever, whatever you heard. <laughs> I am amenable to the consonants of his harmonies, child. Big knots for those gamer noises. <laughs> I love this. I wish there was more uh, functionality in this garden. Another, another small critique. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that, that's what I figured you meant. I just, I love the term gamer noises as a thing. Okay, let's let's look at let's look at this. I actually wouldn't mind. Okay, so fiery presence, deal bonus attack and special when striking undamaged foes, or from behind. I think Fiery Presence is just better, overall. Um, dark Regeneration, restore some of your health when you collect darkness, or I also think this is just better. Uh, Death Defiance, I'm gonna keep that, just because I think, arri ideally, arrive because like, we lost all three of our Defiances against Theseus and the Minotaur, which leads me to believe that like our build wasn't good against like heavily armored foes. Um, but I think if we can if we can bring like if I had at least another death defiance in that fight, I think I could have been victorious. So I'm gonna stick with death defiance. Greater reflex, I like I really want the garden to be a portal to some DLC. Oh, that's a great point. I think I think you might be onto something there. Uh Greater Reflexes versus Ruthless. Nah, no. Nah. All the like before you're about to get hit abilities, I'm like, you overestimate me, man. No. Um deal <laughs> bonus attack and special to foes with cast in them versus reduce the speed and damage of foes with cast in them. Interesting. I think the bonus damage is just better. Though I do see the appeal of this one. I like this. I'm gonna stick with the infernal soul, uh deep pockets as well. Stick with thick skin. Yeah, I think Zeus on primary attack, Aphrodite or Artemis in special, and Athena on dash. That's a great. I think it's. Uh, yeah, I might actually choose Zeus's. Uh, or no, I'll choose. I'll choose Artemis again. I like. I really think support fire will help us out a lot. But I'll keep an eye out for Zeus and Athena and Aphrodite. Um, Demeter is cool, and the cast is really good, but I, I think you're right that those are better picks. Um, family favorite, deal bonus for each. Yeah, we, we privilege status is the one, Olympian favor, or, yeah, we want Olympian favor, God's like a C. What are, what are our feelings on this one? I can see, like... So this is more likely to happen, but it's it's lower rank. This is I don't know what the normal probability of of legendary or duo is. I wonder if God's Pride is probably just better overall. The Uncle Squad. <laughs> I want to try God's Pride for this one. Faded and I want I want to I want to keep Faded Persuasion as well. Yeah, it just, it just seems more like, like I feel like this is a low enough probability that it's probably comparable to whatever the normal, like how often do we, like we got a couple duos, but likely at the same rate we would have, in my opinion. This seems like a more noticeable increase, 20%, yeah. I have this Doppler effect, uh, Orpheus in the background. All right, thank you all for your guidance. Are there other posters? Other than these three, I love my Achilles. I would love to have a real Achilles poster. I like these posters too. Rest. Who needs sleep? 
All right, one, one, one. Is it luck? Is it fate? That was very out of key. I apologize. All right. Uh, who's this handsome fella? Keep Artemis. Keep Meg. I think for their current level, this is the better. Sorry, I'm just cracking my neck. Um, <laughs> how? What time is it? It's one twenty-two. Okay, we've been streaming for like ninety minutes. It's fine. Ninety minutes. Uh, aspect of Hestia. I think we're gonna go with that. Hey, boyo. I know he likes getting hit, but I always feel bad. Oh, wait a minute. You can hold that. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's I don't know if that will be helpful or not, but okay. Alright. Okay. This This is it. For this stream, this run, this heatless rail run <laughs> is going to be my last attempt to escape the underworld with the rail and get that ten Titan blood. Wish me luck. No, thank you. <laughs> that was fun timing. Zag's like, I don't need luck. It's not luck, it's fate. Daedalus in the beginning, interesting. Uh, I think this is gonna help out a lot in Elysium. So let's do that. Power. <laughs> Power. I love how he comments on each specific power-up in a different way. Artemis. Cool. We're off to Daedalus and Artemis back to back. That's a good start. Usually it's like gems. You found me. All right, let's see. I've got some hunting gear for you to try if you could give me your attention, Zagreus. True shot, deadly. Hmm. What are we thinking? Actually, I might I might re-roll. I wanna re-roll. Let's see what else. Deadly strike. Artemis is aid. I do like the call, but I don't like the regular. We're gonna do uh Flourish for sure. Not deadly strike. I feel like this would be Oh, yeah, I remember you saying um, Zeus on the main attack. Oh, right. Flourish, let's do it. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take a little chaos. All right. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I appreciate the... Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to always... If I have a gut feeling about something, I'll go in that direction. Like, I'm sure no one wanted me to go to chaos again. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, honestly, the, the, the runs I've had with the rail with Zeus's chain attack, it's like a game changer. Right, let's see what chaos says. Uh, yeah, I never really used dash strike. None of, the, uh, none of these are especially good. Um, I'm going to do the Eclipse just to get more stuff. And I imagine there's not going to be a lot of traps in, in this part of the game. Although... We'll do the lunge. Why not? I don't do it a lot. I don't often do... Uh, 
death strike, but I feel like it ends up happening enough. Might as well give it a boost. I think I have a thing where Nectar is also a pomegranate. No. No no one needs to be quiet. I appreciate the advice. You're all being respectful. You're not like, do it! Oh, you suck at this game! I got a lot of that in my Nuzlocke. <laughs> I got a... Uh, not, not that bad, but every now and then there would be someone who was like, Oh my god, why doesn't Gyarados know Thrash?! Why doesn't he know Thrash yet? So there's not that going on. You're you're totally fine. Um. Ooh, a fish. Aphrodite. Thank you, mate. Passion Dash. That could be good. None of these are, like, especially helpful, but... Backseat Nuzlocke. <laughs> it honestly wasn't that bad. On Thankfully, it was not that bad, but it was the only time I was like, oh, I gotta navigate this on air. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That's a good point, Jason. Let's do Passion Dash. Strength and beauty. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Strength and beauty. Love it. That's a bite. A sea creature. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, Your Highness. Hello. It's always good to see you, Prince. You too, my friend. More money, please. Makes sense to me. Let's be sure to do this again sometime, Boldy, my friend. <laughs> good luck out there. Thank you. Sorry, my chair is... My non-gamer chair is scratching against my desk. I think I might, for, maybe on Black Friday, I might get a gamer chair. <laughs> Honestly, it was so comfortable. I can't stress this enough. Oh, yeah. Wow. What a decision to make. Um, I think we'll go with Artemis first. I say you made the right decision then. Deadly Strike, Hide Breaker. These are all pretty good. What are we thinking? I actually do need some advice here. I feel like this could really help in Elysium. This is just objectively helpful and and this is great, but I think we're also waiting for Uncle Zeus for the attack. So I guess I'm between these two. That, that armor damage is pretty good. Clean kill. Yeah, just like, just a, this chair right now is like aesthetically nice, but it is not comfortable. Especially, I mean, it's fine, but like sitting in it as long as I have been for this stream, it now feels like I'm sitting on like, just like cement. <laughs> Between recording and everything, I feel like it'd just be worth having. Kind of like the life affirmation. What's in here? Show me, Charon. Yeah, why not? I'll pay for that. Ooh, Zo uh, let's do Athena. We want to get that divine dash. Make 
kill Sky. Wow, that was fast. See you next time. Your labors make you stronger, noble cousin. And the blessings I now offer ought to make you stronger still. Hell yeah. Divine Strike. Athena's Aid. I kind of like... I don't love the cast. We're saving our attack for Zeus. I guess the, the call would be the best, right? I'm going to go with the call. We can always sell it later. Uh, I'm going to go money because I feel like... Here's what I'm going to do. Once we break out of Tartarus, I'm going to switch to the Zeus charm. So we can finally get what we're looking for. So I think the game really wants to set us up with Dionysus, which normally I would love, but we're looking for Zeus. I think a gamer chair, or just a better chair, let's say that, will also be good because I'm trying to work on my drawing setup, and right now I have two, I have a drafting table when I'm doing like, you know, pen and paper, and, or painting even, which I don't, I don't paint very often, but I have my drafting table for like physical media, and then I have my digital station, which is also where I record, and I have a Wacom Cintiq, uh, and my, so it's like, it's like, I'm like a little bit hunched over, so I'm like a nicer chair and then eventually an arm for the tablet. Oh, Zeus is here. Here's the fee. Perfect. I mean, this is, it's not the rarity we would ideally want, but I think we should go for it. Let's do it. Any fishies? Ideally, we can find your Eurydice and maybe upgrade the rarity, but... Sure enough. Step on it, red blood. <laughs> I've got lots of other trash to whip, you know. Ready. Honestly, Athena's call for this fight is very helpful. Ew. Oh, that was close. Thank you, Athena. Thank you, Artemis. Thank you, Zeus. <laughs> Thank you, Sisyphus. All right. Tartarus done. Still got all our life. Okay, let me read this. So the biggest, the two biggest things I've learned in regards to how this game works, changing starting with a god's trinket guarantees the next god you see will be from that god. This is how you steer your builds during a run. You almost always change a trinket between biomes to get your next preferred god boons. Interesting. This ties into that after your first four boons for separate gods, not including Hermes, you cannot get any new gods in that run. You are locked into those four gods. That's good to know. Wow. Okay, so... I'm actually going to hang on to Artemis still, just because I think I would like to get more 
uh, of her abilities, like support fire and stuff. Um, so that means that we're, we'll see Dionysus, Athena, Artemis, and Zeus. Thank you, Goomba. Thank you, Yoshi. That's a good, that's a good four. I like that four. And I guess not counting chaos either. Pomegranate. I love the hands in the lava. power of the lightning strike and nectar because that's another pomegranate oh yeah look at oh the the lightning is gonna help so much with the hydra fight oh my god <laughs> that's gonna be wonderful Clean kill, lightning strike, deadly flourish. Aphrodite's dash, Athena's call. I think that's a Zeus. Oh no, that's a that's an Athena. I'm sorry, that's an Artemis. Cool. The course is set. They do this great thing in the Sandman show where when he goes to hell, the people who've been sent there are actually what Sam. makes up the wall. Oh, wow. Yeah, I really want to watch the Sandman show. I uh, I love the Sandman. I don't know if I've read all of the Sandman. I've read, like, I think there were initially 10 or 12 volumes of, like, the first run. I read at least six of them. Honestly, I think it's it's a fun format for It's a fun format for a TV show. It's so episodic. Who plays uh who plays Dream in that show? Is it uh, they also call him Morpheus, right? Or is it also Orpheus? I forgot. It's been a while. Lady Aphrodite. It's such a pity I can barely see you in that awful darkness, little goblin. I'm glad to hear it's good. I've, I've seen good things. Or I've, I've seen people say good things online. Weak afflicted foes are more susceptible to damage. Empty inside. <laughs> I mean, why not? Who isn't? Who isn't these days? Dracons. Honestly, I think it's a good call to cast Dream as like a not immediately recognizable actor, but that could that could be distracting. He's supposed to kind of be like a mysterious wanderer. Have they done any episodes about uh, his siblings yet? Like the other. What it's death, destiny, desire, and despair. I always love death, and uh, I, I love how destiny is like 
no one ever wants to hang out with him. They're like, he's such a bummer. He's just sort of like unable to chill. Almost finished with these. Desire is also a fun character. It's just a good comic. The the volume where Satan is tired of running hell and gives Dream the keys to hell and then he has to like auction off the keys to hell to like every different deity or like figure of folklore is such a good such a good comic. Cause it it's not really a spoiler, it's like how it opens, but it begins like Dream is essentially like, you know, there are very few beings that could actually potentially kill me, and the devil is one of the few. <laughs> like, I may not stand a chance against the devil, and I do have to go to hell, so I'm like preparing to die. And then he shows up, and the devil's like, hey, like, you mind taking this off my hands? It's great. It's so good. I feel like there's like a handful of like 80s comics that sort of led to the term graphic novel being invented and I would say the Sandman is my favorite like of that collection because like where, what are the other contemporaries like Watchmen and uh, I guess like Ghost World? Ghost World was a little later though wasn't it? Whatever. It's good. It, you don't have to compare it to anything. It's just good. Side hustle. Moving right along. I've not read it, but I want to watch it. I've not seen the show. I've only heard about the comic for years. View for Vendetta 2. Yeah. I've read a lot of Alan Moore. I do really like a lot of his work, but, you know, I think it's... There are a lot of caveats. And I think, like, even... I mean, View for Vendetta especially, I feel like that's kind of been morphed into something else at this point. Um, uh, ooh. I like the, the jolted. Let's do that. God's grant me strength. The Sandman comics are cool because every issue they change the artist. Which, like, you might prefer one artist over the other, but it leads to it really feeling dreamlike. I would say, like, if you're interested in reading Sandman, read the first trade. I, I think it does have a bit of a slow start, but it ends really wonderfully. It ends with the introduction of Death, who's just a great character, and that, like, little chapter with her is great. Um, and then I would say, once you've read the first one, like, read the plot synopsis of the other trades and just get whatever whatever one interests you. Because I was reading them in order, which like, they're all pretty good, but there are definitely some I liked way more than others, given the episodic nature of it. So I don't think you need, like, some of them are like really, really dark. To the point where like, I would argue like, is this, was this even really worth it? Like, you know, Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. You know, it's, it's definitely a subjective call. But uh, the one where the gates to hell are being auctioned off, uh, gates of hell are being auctioned off is incredible. One of my favorite comics. I think that's volume six. Or four, I don't know, I'm busy. I honestly did love Watchmen the first time I read it, but I feel like it's become like, it's become like Fight Club, where it's like quoted for all the wrong reasons. But it's it's still a very influential work, obviously. Brendan actually recommended this to me, but if you are, you know, Watchmen, I think, was sort of one of the first big, like, deconstructions of superheroes. 
like what if what if superheroes actually lived in our society if you want a much more optimistic version of that that's also like grounded emotionally and really well written uh read astro city astro city is incredible and i don't think it's enough credit i think it's just as good as watchmen if not better and i think the writing has held up much better um, that's just my opinion. You know, Watchmen's incredible work, but I think Astro City doesn't get enough credit. And Brendan recommended it, and I thank you for that, because it's, it's incredible. Not that I need everything to be optimistic, but I think there's, there's somewhat of an edgelord quality in a lot of 80s and 90s comics that try to break conventions. Like, you know, what was, I am sure, groundbreaking at the time comes off, like, a Twitter reply now, and it's like, I don't need this. <laughs> I'm being largely reductive. I don't, I don't think that 1,000%, but there's, there's an air of that. Last time I heard about Alan Moore, uh... Oh yeah, that that's a whole. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I'm not gonna even open that conversation. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of problematic problematic elements to Alan Moore. Um. Like you read enough of his work, and you know, I'm not I'm not trying to like reduce him to anything, but I think you know sometimes you read enough of someone's work and you see certain things pop up again and again. It's like I thought like this might be an unresolved issue, like. I think the classic example is like Hemingway. It's like Hemingway had a lot of issues to work out. <laughs> and on one hand, I think that makes his work interesting to engage with. You know, it's like this guy is so encumbered with the toxic image of what masculinity means to him or to society at the time. And while his stories don't consciously engage with that, I think there's a subtext there that is worth exploring. Um, Alan Moore, there's, there's some similar things. I mean, I think ultimately, like, he is consciously doing a lot of things but there's like for lack of a better phrase there's like an undercurrent of misogyny in all his work that's like really hard to look past um and it's like everywhere and you know i don't think i i'd like to imagine he's not like i don't think that that is like totally representative of representative of him as a person but i do think it speaks to like what a lot of writers defaulted to at the time you know i think like um, a lot of it is unconscious. So, again, I'm not trying to, to villainize Alan Moore, but I think you read it. I've read a lot of his stuff, and I'm always like, why is this in here? Like, at a certain point, you know? I think you can definitely have challenging, and should have challenging subjects in your, in your work, but it shouldn't just happen by default and always happen to the same types of characters over and over and over again. Because then, then it comes off really gross. Anyway, let's talk about Hades. <laughs> sorry if that was a bummer. I just I have a lot of thoughts on it. It's hard. It's hard to. I'm sorry if I'm not articulating myself super well while I'm trying to escape hell with the adamant rail. And of course, that's just my opinion. I don't expect anyone to agree or everyone to agree. I do think it's interesting, though, to see, like, what pieces of media existed solely to, like, push boundaries and which ones are actually, like, thoughtful examinations of heavy issues, you know? And it's it's very case-by-case. Case. It's also not my call to make. All right, enough! Look at these chariots. I will say, my favorite Alan Moore comic is actually a Superman comic. Uh, Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow. Incredible. He, he writes Superman really well. Oh, we'll miss a couple coins. 
Oh, two boons. I'm catching up in chat. Uh, let's do... Oh yeah, Preacher. I forgot about Preacher. I never read Preacher. Uh... I like the Holy Shields. Let's do that. Two comics I would recommend that are actually both getting shows. Um, if you haven't read Paper Girls, it's really good. It's by Brian K. Vaughn with art by Cliff Chiang. And it's it's six volumes, so it's a pretty short read. The art's incredible, and it's a really cool blend of genres. Um, and they just made it a show. I think on Amazon Prime. I don't know how the show is, but um, the comic is great. I'm sure the show is going to be good as well. And uh, a manga called Delicious in Dungeon uh, that is like a D&D &D adventure group that learns they have to eat the monsters to survive. So it becomes like a culinary adventure. And every chapter is like... Uh, Ooh, I like that. Every chapter is basically a recipe. So, like, there's one where uh, they're fighting ghosts, and the, the dwarf... Oh, my... Oh, there's a little bit of drift going on. Uh, the dwarf in the party has a thing of holy water attached to a rope, and he's swinging it around at the ghosts, and he ends up making ice cream by accident. It's a great scene. And they're making an anime. Uh, I don't know when it's coming out, but I, I just saw that they announced that recently. I, ooh, ooh, yes, 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 yes. The power of the gods. Zeus or uh, or Daedalus? What are we thinking? I think maybe Daedalus just to get that widespread bomb again. Because we got, we kind of got what we needed from Zeus. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. I hope we can run into Patroclus as well. I'm good. I feel like I got really distracted talking about comic books that I suddenly lost two of my lives. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Comics are good. <laughs> yeah. I also I've been catching Saga is finally back. I I was I am a big Saga fan, but there was a giant hiatus uh, from 2018 until recently. But it's out again. Um, I'm like four or five issues behind. I have all of them. I just haven't read it yet. Um, I still love Saga. My one thing is like I am a little bit worried that it's like. Like recently, Brian K. Vaughn said that they are halfway through at this point. Oh, Cluster Bomb, yes. Which, you know, I trust I trust his vision for the comic, obviously, but like, I'm like, man, halfway through? We're only halfway through? There are like eight volumes. There are two compendiums. I just don't want it to turn into like a, you know, we all lose our, our enthusiasm for it by the end. Because like, 
If I had, if I, if he didn't say that, I would have guessed like, okay, we probably have like four more volumes left, which I guess is maybe like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I don't want, I don't want it to go on indefinitely. Like Walking Dead, I think is like a case of like, you know, that, I mean, that, that comic was, the creator said right away like, oh, it's never gonna end. It's like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> and you know, I read it, I read the first two compendiums back when it came out and like enjoyed them. But at a certain point I was like, I don't know if, if we're learning anything new here. It just sort of feels like, you know, it, it kind of turned into like who's gonna die next, which didn't really interest me at all. I'm sure it's still fine, but like, you know, it, it just kind of went on and then suddenly it ended. And I, I just don't want that for Saga. I think Saga's a really special story. I'm also reading Jujutsu Kaisen, which uh, has an incredible anime, if you haven't watched it. You probably have. It's wildly popular. But it's really good. If you're like, I'm not like a, I'm not super well versed in like the current state of anime at all, but like, it's definitely, that and Spy Family are, are two of just like the best shows I've watched recently, never mind animated. Spy Family, I think I could recommend to anybody. It's just like a perfect blend of comedy and like heartfelt drama. It's, ev it's got everything. Jutsu Kaisen, I think you kind of need to be someone who like already likes this shonen structure. But I do think it's a really fun, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I died, I did die. It's a fun dissection of dead. <laughs> Um, I do think it's like a. It shows that the genre can grow in a good direction. That's all I'll say. Yeah, I want to read Chainsaw Man really badly. Sometimes a gamer gets distracted by comics. Fucking hell. First, first gamer noises, and now a gamer gets distracted by comics. Oh, man. Uh, hello, the only thing I've read as far as comics, manga, graphic novels was The Walking Dead like 10 years ago. Is there anything I need to read from the last decade? Oh, my God. Um, I mean, it depends. It depends. Oh, I almost stopped streaming by uh, slamming my fist at my desk. Uh, parting shot, your cast gains any bonuses from striking for this fight. That's kind of cool. I want to do this. All right, we definitely, we definitely need to uh, to get some death defiances back. Patroclus, if you can hear me, I really, really, really got distracted. Oh my god, I actually forgot I was playing this game. I thought we were just having a talk about comic books. <laughs> Whoops. The last 10 years of comics, if you should read anything. I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm sure chat can help you more than I can, but I will tell you some of my favorites and uh, you can go from there. Uh, one of my favorite graphic novels in recent memory that I think I've plugged on the show before is On a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. It's just a beautiful, beautiful comic in every possible way. The art is incredible. It's a really moving story. It's a really cool approach to sci-fi that's a little bit more science fantasy and I guess like magic realism than anything else. Um, Tilly Walden has a lot of great comics, but On a Sunbeam would be the one I would say like read this first. Um, and you can actually, I think it's free online. So if you want to read it, just, you know, on the internet, you can on her website. Um, otherwise, I think it is nice to have a published printed copy of it because the art is so lovely. Uh, other good comics in the last decade. What a daunting thing to ask. Um,
I this is on my mind because I recently lended it to a friend. But um, if you were a fan of Scott Pilgrim at any point, I would recommend Seconds, which is uh, his essentially follow up. I mean, it's not it's not related canonically, but like if Scott Pilgrim was sort of for better or for worse defined by like being in your early twenties in twenty ten. Uh, seconds is a lot about being in your late twenties, early thirties, and sort of about thinking about like how things could have gone differently. The, the premise is essentially uh, this young woman owns a restaurant. I think that's called Seconds. So there you go. Um, and she finds these magical mushrooms, where if she eats one of them, she can redo something in her life. Uh, so that's the premise, and and the story largely explores like. Uh, why that might not be a good thing and how often she uses them and, and the repercussions of that. Uh, it's really well done. I think I think it might be his best work, honestly. Like, I like Scott Pilgrim, but I feel like Seconds just feels like a more mature story. Um, I'm gonna get reduced to trap damage. I'll take this one. So Seconds on a Sunbeam. Um, Honestly, if you have if you have the investment, Saga is incredible. Uh, it's a long series with, with no end in sight. It's like the only big caveat, but um, Saga was the comic that kind of got me back into comics in a big way. I would say even if you don't stick around, reading the first the first few trades of Saga is definitely worth it. It's such a it's such a weird and interesting world. And Fiona Staples is one of my favorite artists. This might be it. Yeah, okay. Uh, what other comics would I recommend from the last decade? Uh, definitely not dying against Theseus for the fifth time in a few hours. Oh, Honestly, in terms of Marvel, uh, the first Miss Marvel trade is so good. Um, I mean, there there are a lot of good Miss Marvel comics at this point, but that first Welcome volume, that babies. like that kind of introduced Kamala Khan is really, really wonderful. Um, let, me lo let me look at my bookshelf that's nearby. Give me one moment. Oh, it's not the last decade, but if you haven't read Akira, which is the first thing I see on my shelf, because it is most of my shelf, six giant phone books. Akira is just a must read and a must watch. The movie is great. The, the comics are great. Akira is incredible. It's definitely from the 80s, uh, but it's good if you haven't read it. What else we got here? Uh, there are a few other series that I think are a little bit more niche that I'm seeing. Um, It's hard to specifically say, like, from the last decade. Um, but those are the ones that come off the top of my head, the, the answers that arrived to me first. Okay, I am going to log off because I'm getting a little bit tired. It is certainly 2.08 p.m. in Chicago, and I have not eaten breakfast or lunch. And I just tried to discuss the work of Alan Moore in a way that made any sense while I lost. Let's talk so to Mom. Uh, all the pomegranates around here, those are your doing. Not a lot of fruit trees take to this environment, my son. Though there's something about pomegranates. Maybe it's that their seeds so resemble the gemstones your father likes so much. Or that they did. Oh, I'm sorry. Trees, huh? I should no, I did eat breakfast, but it's been like I woke up at eight, so it might as well have been the whole day. <laughs> Speaking of pomegranates. Well, I suppose there are a few. But I like pomegranates most of all. Hell yeah. That's a lovely note to end on. Let's let's uh, end here. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I had such a good time. I think it's a sign of a good stream if I forget that I'm streaming. 
uh and this is such a blast i will definitely do this again i feel like just even the little mission of like getting uh the titan blood to upgrade weapons and doing higher heat that could be a lot of fun so i will definitely be back with more hades uh, i hope you all have a wonderful day and take care and uh read a lot of comics that's that's the lesson read a lot of comics make up your own mind about them i don't know shit all right i'm gonna go eat lunch have a good one bye bye